morning everyone. I hope you are all well. Today is Saturday the 13th of February and I thought I would do another wee weekend vlog. Today we're going on a family day out. Yay! Or at least we're going to the closest thing you can get to a family day out on lockdown. <laughs> yes, we are needing our washing tablets and toilet roll and things like that that we get from Costco. We've not been there since before Christmas and it's time that we went again and Abby, although she's a teenager and hates going shopping with the parents, loves a wander around Costco. So we decided to make it a family day out. So we're all going to go, including the dog. Nick will sit in the van while we're in Costco because she doesn't like shopping at all. And uh, yeah, we'll go for a wee wander around. I'll try and get some footage. Although when it's not Christmas, I don't know if they'll have much to show you, but I'll give it a go. Um, Abby will be pushing me because I've got a sore back just now. So I'll try to get some footage. She might not be very impressed that she's seen with me vlogging, but we'll see what we can do. Once we've been to Costco, we also need to go to Asda. Jack's working tomorrow. Tomorrow, so we're going to get all out the way today and we might even live dangerously and go to McDonald's. Oh, ooh, we're such rebels. Um, yeah, we've not had a McDonald's for ages either. Obviously, it'll be drive through and eating in the van because of restrictions, but oh, well, well, I'll, I'll be out as a family and it'll make a wee change. I can't remember the last time we were all out together. So, not the most exciting of trips, but at least we're all out and doing something. Jack is out at the moment walking the dogs so that they've had a lot of exercise and done the loo and everything before they are in the van. And it is 25 to 9. I have had my coffee early today. I usually don't have anything until half 9. I had to force myself to have it, to be honest, because I'm not hungry or thirsty or anything at this time normally but I am on antibiotics and I had to take that before we went out and you've got to take it either with food or milk and I couldn't face food. Um, I will talk more about that later today or tomorrow but for now I'm just going to get organised for going out for the day as you can probably hear the tumble dryer is on. The girls are getting organised so once the washing's sorted and the girls are ready we will be going. I'll see you in a wee while. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky 
sky is falling down Probably won't lie, but it's lovely to watch. Lying in my bed just now, stretching out, trying to relieve my back, and just enjoying watching the snowfall. I'm watching YouTube, of course. <laughs> but it's quarter to four, so I'll need to get up and get dinner organised for the dogs and the humans soon. I just love watching the snow. Good morning, Big Rana. Hello. <laughs> Good morning and happy Valentine's Day everyone. Look at this. We actually had a decent amount of snowfall last night. Certainly nothing compared to what some people have had, like Christine from My Life and Hobbies. I had real snow envy there. Her wee dog Maggie went out the back and nearly disappeared in the snow. I've not had anything like that, but that's probably the most I've seen since we moved here nearly three years ago. And you can guarantee Brooke will be out playing in it, won't she, Willie? Willie? Won't she, Willa? Yes, yes you will. Right, I'm going to go and get on my bits and pieces of housework. It's only half past seven just now. So I will come back to you and have a chat in a wee while. <laughs> morning it's now about 11 o'clock and i have had my coffee and my painkillers and i'm feeling a bit more human again so i thought we'd come on and have a little chat i'm going to apologize in advance if the dogs keep barking brooke is outside playing in the snow and every time she passes the window they go nuts and um, so if you hear them barking that's what it is right so yesterday we had a nice wee day we went out to costco i, I took what clips i could um, i'll have put them in for you and we did get a few bits and pieces apart from what we always get. We always go every sort of three months or so for toilet roll, kitchen roll and washing tablets because it's much cheaper to buy them in bulk there than it is to buy them in the supermarkets or B&Ms, anywhere like that. So we got all of them and we usually pick up some extra bits and pieces that we see when we're there. So I'm going to show you now the other bits and pieces that we picked up yesterday. I got the Dolce Gusto Latte Macchiato packs. You've got three boxes of that for £9, which is good because in Asda, three for £10. So you're saving a pound and that was including that. So that was good. Look at these. A box of the individual Lotus Biscoff biscuits. Now, I can't remember how much they were or whether they were a bargain or not. But at the end of the day, look. Oh, you get 150 mini biscuits in there and they are just so good. I hate to think how quick they are going to disappear. But, oh, just couldn't resist that. Abby loves the Starbucks ready to drink drinks. Now, that's the caramel mocha, I think, or just the mocha and they're about 160 180 in asda and i think it worked out just over eight pounds for the eight bottles in costco so that was definitely a bargain so she'll just put them in the fridge as she needs them um and we've got my mum some fire lighters they've got a, a log burner in their cabin and they were doing the 200 fire lighters for four pounds something and my mum said that was a good bargain i phoned her um, and she said that was a good bargain, so I picked that up. They're safe, green and clean. So that was the only other bits that we got apart from the usual washing tablets, kitchen roll and toilet roll. So that's what we picked up yesterday. Not an awful lot, but it was nice to have a wee wander around. It wasn't too busy. And then we went from there to Asda, which was a nightmare, to be honest. 
I I love going to Asda. I, I do. I'm a I'm an Asda addict and I love looking around everything. But I like to go first thing in the morning when it's quiet and when the shelves are pretty full. But by the time we got there yesterday, it was lunchtime, it was mobbed and there was a lot of stuff empty. Um, a lot of things that we couldn't get, which was really annoying. And you know me, I like to stay positive. I don't like moaning, but this woman really pissed me off. Sorry for swearing, but she really did. There was a bit, and I had seen it last week, and it was like a £15 meal deal. I think it was for Valentine's Day. And you get a starter, a main, two sides, a dessert, and either a drink or a box of Thornton's chocolates, all for £15, and it was a fab deal. I was going to pick it up when we were there last week because there was loads of stock there, but the dates, they were all out of date by today, which is Valentine's Day. So I thought, I'll wait and get it this weekend. So we got to that bit yesterday, and I did notice there was a lot less, but I thought, oh, there'll still be stuff there that we want. But there was a, a sort of older couple standing looking, so I sat back away from them, while they were looking, ready to look. And they took a step away. I didn't pay attention to where they went or what they did, but they took a step back. So I moved in to have a look at what was there. And I picked a starter and I picked a main course and I picked a dessert and I picked the chocolates and all of these things were scanned because we do the scan and go thing. And then I was like, where's the sides? They didn't have any side dishes at all. And I thought, well, there's no point in getting that deal if you're not getting the side dishes because you're not saving any money. And I turned to Abby and said, they've not got any sides left. And that's when I realised the couple who had been there were still there. And the woman turned around and said to me, yes, I know, that's just what we were thinking before you barged your way in. And she walked away. And I went, excuse me I said I'm sorry if I barged in I didn't mean to you should have said to me at the time I didn't realize I was barging in but she'd walked away by that point and I was raging a because she was rude and b because I felt bad that I had barged in because I didn't mean to I saw her take a step back so I moved in I didn't realize she wasn't walking away if she'd said to me at the time I would have genuinely apologized and moved out the way it was the fact that she just said that to me and then walked away and couldn't either let me apologise or let me defend myself. I was raging. That was quite early on in the shop, so it put us in a bad mood for the rest of the shop. While we were there, we picked up a new duvet and duvet covers and pillow slips and things for, Ab uh, for Abby. Oh, that was the other thing that we got at Costco yesterday. We got Abby new pillows because her pillows are old and a bit lumpy now. So we got her all fresh bed in yesterday, which was nice. So after Asda, we definitely needed our McDonald's and there was quite a big queue for the drive through and I thought, oh no, I'll be, uh, Jack's in a bad mood now. He's not going to want to wait, but he did. And it was fine. It was good. I had mozzarella sticks. I've got them back. Yay! Um, that was good. And of course, we had to get the burgers for the dogs. We always get five plain burgers when we're at McDonald's and they always say, five are you sure <laughs> they don't realize we've got four dogs in the van and Brooke always has a plain burger so yeah the Rana uh, Clyde and Willa get one burger each Molly gets half a burger and Rana gets one and a half burger so he gets the other half of Molly's because she's wee and he's huge and um, so yeah that was that and they always get excited when we pull up to the McDonald's window because they know it's their window where they get something and then we came home and I went and had a lie down because I was in agony by this time. Oh, I'm sorry for moaning again. I know it was only a couple of weeks ago I was on moaning about the pain in my stomach, my side. Um, but this week I've had a really bad back. Now, I've had a bad back on and off basically since I was pregnant with Abby. I was on crutches pretty much my whole pregnancy with Abby because I put my, my back out putting my socks on when I was about 12 weeks pregnant with her and it just never recovered until after I had her. Um, and it's been dodgy on and off since. And a couple of weeks ago it was sore, but nothing to write home about and it went away. And then the pain in my side kept coming and going really badly. And then the pain in my back on Tuesday when I was out at Morrison's, got really bad and from then the rest of the week I was really in agony and of course it doesn't help that I have to sit all the time in the wheelchair I can't get up and walk about so I either have to sit or lie flat so I spent a lot of um, last week lying on my bed doped up on painkillers and then on 
Friday, I thought I'm going to phone the doctor because it doesn't feel like a normal back pain. It doesn't feel like the normal muscular back pain. It felt like it was merging with the, the pain in my, my side, if you know what I mean. It just felt a bit weird. So I decided to phone the doctor and she said, oh, it might be a urine infection. I'm like, it's not a urine infection. It's not my kidneys. I know what a kidney pain feels like. I've not got any symptoms of a urine infection. Um, she said, what to do is get a urine sample along to us and if it's an infection, I'll give you antibiotics. If it's not, I'll get the physio to phone you when they're in next Thursday. I thought, another week? So Jack took the sample along and the doctor phoned me. She said, you've got really quite a severe infection. I'm like, news to me. Um, she said, so I'll give you antibiotics. So Jack picked them up for me and I've been taking them, but I finished them tomorrow and the pain's still there. So I think it's just been a coincidence that she's picked up the urine infection. I'll wait and see. But um, yeah, so I'm sorry for moaning, but it's just my life again, isn't it? Sorry if you can hear crunching. Rannick was barking because he was hungry, so I'm holding his dry food for him just now so that he eats it. So if you hear crunching, that's what it is. He's such a pampered dog. And what else was I going to say? So yeah, that's what I did when they came in yesterday. I went and lay down because I was in agony. And the... It meant that I didn't do an Asda haul. I just got the girls to put that away for me because I, I couldn't have sat up any longer to film that. And then we just had dinner and watched a bit of telly and I was in my bed again by half seven last night just so I could stretch out. And uh, yeah, I've been basically in my bed most of the week. Tuesday I was out at Morrison's, like I said, the girls were on half term, so they were off school, no homeschooling, which was lovely. And I was glad because I would really have been struggling um, for homeschooling Brooke when I was in so much pain. I don't know what I would have done. So I'm hoping they go back to school on Tuesday. Well, back to homeschool on Tuesday. And I'm hoping that the pain will be away by then. Um, because that would have been an absolute nightmare. And it will be if I'm still in pain. So yeah, Tuesday we went to Morrison's. And I don't know if you saw the short video that I did the, with the random act of kindness. Some lovely gentleman just walked up and praised Brooke for helping me uh, in my wheelchair and handed her a fiver. Just gave her a five pound note just because he thought she was brilliant. And I just thought that was so, so nice. And I still smile every time I think of it. It's such a lovely thing to do. And it makes me want to do a random act of kindness as well. I'm always on the lookout anyway, that if there is anything I can do to help someone, then I will. But yeah, it was just, it was lovely. I want to pay it forward in some way. Um, on the way back from Asda yesterday, the toys in the trees were gone. I don't know what's happened. They have been there since we moved here almost three years ago. I spoke about them on my vlog last week and they were gone this week. Not one. So I don't know what has happened. Um, a couple of viewers had commented thank you about it. Uh, the lovely Jill had said that it might be people leaving it out for the little people, the little fairies, because if you, you leave gifts and things for the fairies, you're you're meant to have good luck. It's meant to be nice and, you know, bring you luck. Um, and someone else said that they had read a post online that said it was someone from Cardress, which is near Dumbarton, who um, any soft toy that he found discarded would just put them in the trees. So... I don't know what it was and I don't know why they're gone, but they are. And I was very disappointed to see that because I thought, oh, I've just told everybody about it. And it always makes them smile when I pass and they're not there now. So I don't know what's happening. I'll keep you updated on the Toys and Trees saga. <laughs> the half term was very quiet. We knew it would be anyway because of lockdown. We couldn't go anywhere. But with me um, being on my bed most of the time, it was very, very quiet. Absolutely nothing to write home about. Um, tomorrow, I think, the 15th, Nicola Sturgeon's going to be giving an update on what's happening with the schools. As far as I'm aware, Abby, because she's in her senior phase, she will start a phased return with, when she can go in to do practical work only. Now, that would include her music and her beauty courses. Um, so we don't know what's going to happen with that. But Brooke's age group, there's absolutely no mention of them going back yet. It's like nursery to primary three or primary four I think are due to start going back on the 22nd um, so hopefully we'll find out tomorrow what's going to be happening with Brooke and I was hoping to make a Valentine's card and a wee mug thing for Jack and I'm still hoping to do that today fingers crossed depending how the pain goes if I'm able to sit up long enough I fancy getting that done but it'll just be a wee quick easy thing that I do now I did buy a mug in Asda yesterday for it I bought this mug, it's just a wee plain white mug, it was only 50 pence and I thought that would be perfect just to decorate 
Um, with that, I saw a really smart saying, hello Brooke, Brooke has been out playing in the snow. And that's her saying that our neighbour just across from us has gave her something else. Every time she's out, he gives her something. He's an elderly man and he's lovely. He's got grandkids that are all older now, but he's still got stuff sitting about his house from when they were younger. So every time he sees Brooke, he gives her something, which we really shouldn't be doing just now with COVID. But like I say, he's elderly, he's isolating. I really don't think that he's going to be passing anything on. Um, so you can't say hello, no? Yeah? No? Yes? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Say hello. Hi. Hi. You need a shower. Later on. <laughs> Go and do it now. Later on. Oh. Anybody else have problems trying to get their kids to have a shower? Oh, do it later. <laughs> and then later comes and we forget. I'm doing it later on. Okay. Right. We're going to hold her to that, okay? We're just going to do it later on. You're all witnesses to that. I am hoping to get those made for Jack. <coughs> So I'll show you. Oi. We don't do anything for Valentine's Day. Um, so Jack's working today anyway, so we wouldn't have been doing anything. But we couldn't get that meal deal thing that we wanted. We did buy an Indian platter thing for two that we'll have tonight instead. And what else? Oh, this morning I did a bit of retail therapy when I was having my coffee. Naughty me! I did a bit of online retail therapy. I've been watching YouTube, as always, and I was watching Katie Jane this morning. Now, I've watched, I'll link her channel. I've watched Katie Jane since my Slimmer World days. And way back then, she was on Slimmer World losing a lot of weight. And then she got to Target and then she became a Slimmer World consultant. Um, so she does a lot of Slimming World food videos, but she also does hauls and uh, day in the lights and things like that. She's lovely. She's a really, really nice uh, lady and she's got a nice family. So I was watching one of her latest hauls and it was a... Oh, I can't remember what it was called. Oh, what's the site called? I can't remember. I'll pop it, pop it in on the screen for you. That's going to annoy me now. Um... And when I first watched her haul, I was put off a bit because she said it was £5 delivery. Now, I hate paying for delivery because I just think, I know that it costs people money to deliver things, so you have to pay for it. But I'm not used to Amazon Prime and not paying for it or just going and picking things up and not paying for it. So I hate paying for delivery. And when she said it was £5 delivery, I was like, mm, don't know. But some of the things that she got were real bargains so I thought I'm going to go on anyway and have a little look and oh my god I got some great deals I got some things for five pence five pence and I thought it's going to be worth it so basically it was 22 pounds worth of stuff for about 15 pounds plus I got 10 percent off plus I'll get eight percent cash back and I thought and that 15 pounds is including the delivery so I thought well it is going to be worth it I don't mind paying the delivery when I'm getting such bargains plus it's going to be another little haul for you when that arrives so I will do a haul video for you and I think that's everything just now I don't think I've got anything else to tell you just now so I'm going to head off at the moment I'm going to see if I can get a card done for Jack and his mug done for him and I will come back to you in a wee while I'll see you soon it's just coming on three o'clock. I've finished the mug for Jack, but I'm in agony. I need to go and lie down, so I'm not going to do a card for him. He won't mind. He won't have a card for me either. Um, but here is the mug. It, I ended up not using the Asda 50 pence one. This is the town one that I got from B&M's in a, a haul that I filmed a few weeks ago, I think. Um, and it just says, I love you more. The end. I win. Because we've got that and the I've got. I love you, I love you more. No, you don't. Yes, I do. So, he'll find that funny, I think. Uh, as the mug, I've got something else in mind. I saw something that would be brilliant to put on that for taking to his work. So, that's why I used this one. This is a bit too girly for him to take to his work. So, I thought I'll put this, um, I'll make this his Valentine's one. And I'll make the other one for him another time. But I think that's quite cute. Let me know what you think of it. I'll let you know what he thinks of it. Oh, I need to go lie down. <laughs> There's Brick. Mm -hmm. Look what Brick's not done. <laughs> What's Brick not done? What's Brick not done? The shower. The shower. What's Brick going to do? Tomorrow. First thing in the morning. <laughs> it's too late now. I can't be bothered. I've First thing in the morning. I've been doing writing. Though. You have been? What have you been writing? A fan fiction. A fan fiction story for what's it called? I've not named it yet. No, what's the app called? Wattpad. Wattpad. 
and it's an app that you can publish your short stories on. Yeah. Cool. Feeling so much better now I'm lying down. I've had some cocoa de all. Hi. Hey Clyde. Hey Willa. And uh, look what I've devoured. And say hi to Molly. A whole well. packet. Oh, hello Molly. Hello. A whole packet of chocolate digestives. Not today though, that's been since Thursday. So it's not too bad. But And the dogs have had a wee bit. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> what? There's still a couple left, yeah. I was like, I'll have it. <sighs> and I'm playing Best Fiends. It's a different game this time. I like this game. Oh, I need to move shortly and sort dinner, but I'm just enjoying the pain-free life at the moment. <laughs> your coffee? And your Louis Capaldi mug. Yes, it is a wee Valentine's dinner. We're all to be romantic, even though we've been married nearly 20 years. Right. Not quite. <laughs> Nearly 19 years. 18 and a half. <laughs> well done. Did Time you just say you thought it was more fun. than that, you cheeky get? Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> this is our Valentine's dinner. It's an Indian style meal for two. It's got chicken korma and chicken tikka masala, pilau rice, naan breads and onion badges. I, I think that was it. £6 or something from Asda. Since we couldn't get the £15 deal. Right, close your eyes. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> you forgot about it. So there's a card there that ha that you've just taken the price right. off and haven't even written. Well, I can either write you for you now or save it for next year. Save it for next year. <laughs> I don't know. And here's me about to make you a romantic Indian meal for two. <laughs> he was there when you bought it. That's <laughs> five and dinner is served. Valentine's dinner of... <laughs> I've got the chicken korma and some rice and I just took one onion badgie and an naan bread. And Jack has got the chicken tikka, some rice, the other three onion badges and the other naan bread. So that is us. We're going to go and sit and enjoy this in a not very romantic setting. I think they're. Uh, I think Jack's watching Monsters University with Brooke. So, yeah, very romantic. Um, about as romantic as getting a card that hasn't been written and getting it saved for next year. <laughs> right. So I'm going to head off now. We're just going to chill out, and watch telly the rest of the night. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. And I comment down below. Don't forget to say hello to me. And I will see you in our next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.